Welcome to day number 18 of the Inkvent calendar. Can you believe it? 18 days gone in December already. This month, I don't know about you, but it's just flying by. Haven't got many sleeps left now till Christmas, have we? So day number 18. This should be getting quite easy to find now because there's not many left. Here we go, day 18. Let's take a look behind the door. What have we got in here? Olive Swirl. Now, I'm going to be honest, looking at the colour of this label, it's something very different than what I normally get. This is, again, just going by the label, it's a nice bright green label there. Be interesting to see again what this ink is. So, Olive Swirl, that does put me in mind of greens. What type of ink is it? It's a chameleon. So, it's another ink where we've got small little bits of shimmer and there it is on the back you can see that some of it's already in the suspension by the look of it what i need to do is make sure i agitate this to get that all mixed in and just shaking it gently you can see it start to come off there and appear down the bottom here what i'll do is i'll fetch in my coloring card there comes the card the first tool i'll be using this is the Serendipity Dip Pen. So I've made sure the ink's had a good agitation. See what it looks when we put it on paper. So this is Diamine Olive Swirl. And it's Inkvent 2022, Day 18. Unusual colour there, isn't it? That really does remind me of Olive, so I think it's really well named. We'll use the Pilot Parallels now to do the main swatch. Dip that in and see what we've got. So it looks quite watery when I'm putting it down here as my swatch. You know, a single dip has covered the whole area that I normally do. I'm going to dip one more time and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a mix around. Hopefully we get plenty of that chameleon then. Then in the middle, I'm just going to go a bit heavy. Then on the side, one single pass. There we go. Looking quite nice there. I think that's a nice bright green colour. Not sure. I'll know better when I look at my swatches, but I don't think I've got anything even remotely similar. Let's pop it to one side. I'll give it time to dry. Whilst it's drying, here's my Endless Recorder notebook. 68 GSM Tomai River paper. So we've got here, day 18, olive swirl. See how it dries, so there's immediate. 10 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute. After a minute, nice and dry, I'll write a sentence. That writes quite nicely. Already I'm seeing that we're getting some shading in there. I'm going to put this over to one side. We'll let it dry. Whilst that's drying, we'll fetch in the advent calendar. Santa's workshop. There we go. Can we see it? Yep. We're looking for day number 18. Well, day 20 there. Got 22 and 24. I've got a 21. No 18 yet though. Ah, there we go. Quite a hard one to find that. Ended up on the last side. Here we go, day number 18, right at the top. And the message we've got, count all the candy canes. Well, I can only see one there, so the answer's got to be one. And here, see what we've got. It doesn't want to come out, it doesn't want to be eaten. I'll get my letter opener into it, there we go. This is a Cadbury Dream Bar. I ended up off camera, it was that bad. Cadbury's Dream Bar, and just so you can see the doors, 
Count all the candy canes, and there's a candy cane. We'll fetch in the her, her, her bag. Here we go. This is the gift that my wife's been collecting throughout the year. I think she might have been looking at some of my lists as well. So what have we got in here? Mmm, well, feels different. It's like three tubes. What have we got? This is a three pack of rollerball pens. Kedgy rollerball pen. 0.7 millimeter, three pack. So we've got a black, we've got a blue and a red. She's definitely been looking at my plans because one of my videos I've got planned for next year is doing a comparison between rollerballs, ballpoints, gel pens and a fountain pen and possibly a pencil. Depends how I'm feeling when I do the recording. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I may actually split it up into a number of different videos, but I'll see when I get closer to that. But I had on my list of things I need to get for that, obviously, some rollerball pens. She'd bought me some gel pens as a gift earlier. So this is brilliant because that means I've now got everything that I need to make that video. Let's switch back in the notebook. So here we come. Endless recorder, day number 18. Like the look of this. I'm just going to go through my existing inks, see if I've got anything that's similar to this olive swirl. Okay, I've been through my box of inks. Let's take a quick a quick look at this though. We've got this nice, gorgeous, I say it's like a pale, I'm going to say green, but there's a lot of yellow in that in my eye, but maybe like goldish yellow in there as well. On the swatch here, we see we've got nice tones. In the writing, we can see, certainly in the diamine part, we've got this green chameleon, green shimmer coming through. A little bit there in the olive swirl. Not as much as I was hoping for here in the actual swatch. Could be because it's a finer shimmer, it needs to be agitated more often. I could only find one ink which looks remotely like this. And that's Rora and Klinger Alt Gold Grim. Not quite the same, but it's getting there. The Alt Gold Grim seems to be a bit more greener to me. Whereas I'm seeing a bit more, I say yellows or browns or gold colours here in this olive swirl. As I've said in a number of my other videos, this is the beauty of this Inkvent calendar. Because I'm getting a lot of colours that I wouldn't normally use, but they're coming out. And that gives me a chance to experiment with them without spending a lot of money on big bottles of ink. We'll take a look at the chromatography. Quite an interesting chromatography here. So we've got... A line there where I wrote on the line, you can see there the chameleon. See it just shimmering away. Got a lot of grey at the bottom. So there's definitely that grey base, which maybe explains the little bit of the darkness. We then go into this gorgeous green, really bright, vibrant green. At the top, in the fringe, I'm seeing like a peachy colour, but also I'm seeing a blue colour. And I'm wondering if they're what's going together to give us that green colour. Quite different than what I see with a lot of my chromatographies. We'll take a look at the writing. So the writing, let's move the page down a little bit. There we are. We're more central now to the camera. You know, the first line we expect to be darker because that's where there's still a lot of ink on the pen. When we get to our sentence, we've got a lot of this shading coming through. And I hope that that continues when I get this into a fountain pen. I'm not sure what pen to put it in though, because with it having that chameleon, I do limit it to the pens. So my more expensive pens, I don't like to have any shimmer in them, just in case it clogs the feed. One pen that does jump to mind, I've got a Twisby Eco with a 1.1 stub. I wonder what it would look like in that. Quite pretty. So this is Diamine Ink Vent 2022, day number 18, Olive Swirl.